Hey, hey, hey. So I think last weekend or maybe the weekend before, I made some roasted corn. I took some pictures and I posted them on Instagram. But uh, I never really showed anybody how I did it. I cooked it right on the Blackstone. And it's really easy. All I did was take two ears of corn. Um, I did remove the silk. I peeled them back a little bit and I removed the silk. And as you can see, they will start burning. And that's why I removed the silk. But it's really easy. So I put it on low. And I just lay them on here, like so. And to create a little bit of a hot box, I basically just cover them up, keeping that heat in there. There you go, just like that. Um, I got them down on low, and I'm just going to let them roast. Um, I come out here every 10 minutes or so, and I rotate them, just so they get an even cook in about 20, 25 minutes, maybe 30. I'm not really sure how long it takes. I just kind of watch them until they're hot. Um, you got roasted corn. It comes out perfect. It's warm, it's smoky. Um, you'll see, so, so watch and you'll see how this goes. So I'll be back in a few, about 10 minutes or so and I'll rotate them and show you what I do. All right, I'm back. So as promised, I'm gonna show you what 10 minutes looks like. And after 10 minutes, you can see it's starting to brown on the other side. So I just rotate them a quarter. Keep an eye on them. Look how you see how it's burning right there. That's what you want. The husk is going to create a smoky flavor in there. Keep the heat in, and it's going to cook. It's going to smoke it. It's going to be good. And I think I'm going to turn the heat up just a scooch across the board. A little bit of hot heat. I even like to squirt a little water in there every once in a while just to steam it and keep it juicy. All right, so I'm going to go put 10 more minutes on the timer, come out and rotate it again. All right, and as I said, another 10 minutes. Got to give it another rotate. Smelling, I actually smell the corn now. So, as you can see, that's starting to really char up now. I'm gonna bring this one down here. It seems like it's a little hotter. And we'll give it another 10 minutes. You put it down, slowly cook it, rotate it every once in a while, and just cook it and rotate. And before you know it, you're gonna have juicy, smoky, delicious corn and wait till you see all the toppings that I put on top of this. Let's take a look, see what we got. Oh, they're looking good. Looking good. So as you can see, the paper is starting to come off. The husk is starting to come off. So you need a little bit of moisture. So I'm going to give it a little shot of water in there again. Steam those up. All right, the other thing I'm cooking today is some potatoes. I took these potatoes, I boiled them so they're already cooked. Now I'm basically just going to smash them. Like this. Look at that. Now the trick to the potatoes is smash them down, get it nice and hot, and then don't touch them. Let them brown on the bottom. Then you flip them once they're brown and brown the other side. Got a little gospel. My own personal seasoning mixture. I call it the gospel. Garlic, onion, salt, pepper. 
gospel. Oh. All right. And then I'll add a little oil to the other side, just to keep it moist. I'm gonna have a little wine. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, and I've returned. So now I'm gonna get my big spatula. And I'm gonna try. Oh, look at crisp on that. Can you see the crisp on that? That's exactly what I'm looking for. That is beautiful. Golden, crispy. Another shot of some oil. Seasoning on the other side. Let it go. Now let's check our corn. All right, that corn. Oh, look at this. It's getting a little bit of color. Roasted corn. All right. Got myself a nice piece of flap steak here. Wait till you see this beautiful piece of meat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pull these potatoes off. I'm going to say this corn is done. Woo! Now the only way I found to clean these, oops, uh, is put on these hot knits. Let's strip them down. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Got a little garbage right here. I pull off the husks. And they come off nice and easy. Woo wee baby. Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? Up a little butter, mayonnaise, sour cream, salt and pepper, um, and lime juice. A very simple little butter mixture, which is going to melt all over this. All right, so we're just going to let that fall between the cracks here. 
coat that up real nice. Nice heavy layer all over that right there like that. Alright. And just like any other corn and butter mixture, just give it a nice little spin. So everything gets nice and coated. Oh yeah. And let that melt all over. Alright. Oh, is that beautiful or what? Alright. So now got myself a little Mexican cheese. I think it's called cojita? Cojita cheese? I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's good. I like to sprinkle a little of that on there. Let that soften and melt up all over there nice and easy. Yeah, just like that. Alright. Then, a little smoky paprika. Just a little dusting all over it. And then we finish off with a little cilantro. Boom. And this is my version of Mexican street corn. Just like that. Beautiful. Look at that. This is dinner. Mexican street corn, flap steak, and smashed potatoes. I don't know what you want to call it. I call it delicious. This is dinner. Burn on my fingers. Open the door. And then the last thing I like to do after any cook is clean off the griddle. beautiful surface for the next time. Take care of your griddle and your griddle will take care of you. Well that's it. I'm gonna go inside and have a little dinner. If you like this video let me know. Please subscribe it'll help me out. If not comment below tell me what you didn't like. I'll see you on the next cook.